the more positive associations we can get with starting the sadhana, sadhana means spiritual practice, the easier it is. One of the hardest things about spiritual practice is starting it. So it's easy to go around doing 101 things in your life that you're used to doing and not sitting down to practice. If you've actually sat down to practice, that's the sort of 90% of the task has been done for many people. Okay. And then what do you do? Once you've sat down, you want to make it as easy as possible. Yeah. So if your default is actually some kind of negativity, some kind of unhappiness, that's, not, that's fine. Whatever's easier for you. Now the point is also, like we're talking about the sprinter, is not to try too hard because that creates tension. I've got to be a bit, the, the instructions are quite loose at this point because some people actually find it easier to try harder, in which case you can do that. You know? It's going to slightly vary from person to person. You find your own way through that forest. But yeah, the idea is to make it easy for you. So you're not trying to necessarily change too much. Um, and sometimes the reminder to be happy can just sort of let go of that tension. Sometimes what happens is during a practice, a meditation practice, the tension sort of gradually increases, yeah? gradually creeps up, creeps up, creeps up. And if someone says, oh, you know, you'd have to try, it's like, oh, just deflate that tension, you see? Does that, has, has other people experienced that? You know, during a meditation, if I, when I say that, does that help in that way? Or does it hinder sometimes? Does it actually cause an obstruction? Because what I don't want it to do is create an obstruction that, oh, damn, I can't be happy. Oh, you know, if you're not happy, then that's okay too. You know? it, what, what, that's all Maya. So the point is, the, the point of the first phase of the practice, this is the theory behind it. This is my own personal experience i haven't read it anywhere is that and in fact you don't see these kind of i haven't seen these kinds of tips anywhere written down for self-inquiry but it's just my own practice my own experience the mind naturally is outward going it's interested in the world right because it thinks it's a body mind entity it's interested in the world so it's attending to body mind world thoughts 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 world world Think of this outward going motion. What we want to do is bring that inwards. So what we don't do is try and shift this massive outgoing tendency all at once inwards. The first step is just to slow it down and let it go. So, so this outward tendency is slowing down. And it comes to a natural still point. When it comes to natural still point, you are the body mind feeling happy and calm, and peaceful, like a normal person on the beach. So that's a massive accomplishment because you've gone from outward going to just not outward going. That feels good. But you still might conceive yourself as a body mind. Then, when you're ready, as soon as you can, actually, we should say. When I say when you're ready, you don't want to put this stage off because. That's just the, the, the stop in the outward tendency. It's just the preliminary. It doesn't really matter you feeling good or bad so much. Then we go within and we're starting to ignore or not pay attention to or defocus on body, mind, world. Now, there's, I think, something about the mind, which is that it needs a source of focus. Arvin, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Take care. There's, a, there's an aspect of the mind which needs something to focus on. And there's a, there's a sort of um, little trick that, well, there's a, there's a sort of analogy where if someone's told not to think of a pink elephant, all they can do is think of a pink elephant, right? So if I say to you, don't focus on the body, mind, and world, the mind can't really do that very well. The mind can't really not focus on something that you've told it about. So if I say, 
don't think of a pink elephant. Whatever you do, do not think of a pink elephant. Then you're just thinking about a pink elephant all the time. In the same way, it's very difficult not to focus on the body mind world. So we say, focus on your being. Don't worry about the body mind world. Ignore that. Just focus on being. Make, make it a positive, something you're reaching through for positively. And if you see Roman's teachings, he's very much the via positiva. He doesn't do the negativa so much, via negativa so much, for that reason. You know, neti neti is not the predominant technique of Ramana's. Whereas the mind likes the neti neti stuff. You'll find most of the intellects like the neti neti stuff, not this, not that, via negativa. There's something about the positive approach which Ramana really likes. So we focus on that. And then whether you're happy, unhappy, it becomes in the background and eventually disappears. But as I said, the instructions for self-inquiry basically are to um, focus away from objects towards a subject. That's basically it. So you're just abiding as what you are. You're just being the subject and you're not attending to objects. That's the basic teaching. That's it. And everything else you kind of figure out yourself through trying and relaxing and straining and all these different things. You, you find your own way. And because of my own disposition, my own personality type, you know, I maybe explain it one way and maybe that would be great for you. Maybe you can come back to me at some point and say, actually, Tom, um, for me, I found something else helps me more. And then I'd love to hear what that one is. And I'd love to understand that. Yeah, so Jimmy, if you or anyone else, if you find something else that's more helpful to you, let me know. And I can also let you know if it's, if it's on the wrong track as well. Um, but if you understand the basic principle, then um, you'll probably be on the right track and I'll probably, you'll probably be teaching me something. Just as in a dream, everything that appears is actually an illusion and all there really is is that consciousness that you are it's the same now for the mind that can be quite a disturbing or even sad thing to think but when it is experienced it's beautiful 